Hey folks, DJ EDC coming at you again with yet another knife review. Today, what we're going to have on the review table is the Kershaw Blur. This one particular model happens to be the 16700LBLK. It is olive drab handle scales with a DLC coated blade. Um, it's got the track tech inserts. I've had this knife for, uh, I want to say going on about two years now. As you can see, the blade has seen quite a bit of wear. And, um, I mean, it's a pretty solid knife for EDC. I carried it for a very long time. It does not get too much pocket time with me now because as I touched on in my top EDC knives review, this pocket clip is horrendous. It carries super high so you're you know about that much of the knife is sticking out from your pocket which is great if you want to grab onto it but i mean it kind of juts you in the side um while you're sitting down uh, another thing is just on the pocket clip is this extremely thin profile basically very low to the knife um i mean at least they have the cutaway underneath the pocket clip where there is no track tech inserts so it doesn't necessarily snag but um the traction is still there on either side so i mean it kind of does get in the way although it doesn't interfere with the pocket clip itself necessarily it does create some unnecessary drag um today we're working with a new tripod so we'll see how that works out if i like it uh, we'll continue using it for videos if not we'll ditch it but um just another thing about this knife, it does have quite the recurve being a Ken Onion design. It's got that kind of very organic recurve to it, so it's not the easiest to sharpen. Um, obviously, I use stuff like uh, ceramic rods or uh, like a diamond file to kind of touch it up. This does not go to my work sharp because I am uh, not interested in creating a bigger belly than I need to on this knife. And uh, I've only had to touch it up a couple of times. It has maintained its sharpness for quite some time with the Sandvik 14C28N blade steel. It performs really well, American-made steel. This is an American-made knife and, in fact, was my first American-made Kershaw that I ever bought. Uh, this ran me about 60 bucks, I think, at Walmart, maybe even less. I think it was like 58 if I'm being, you know, exact. It's a great starter option if you're looking to get into U.S. produced knives and, you know, step up from your m or your TAC Forces or your Ozark Trails, you know, being that this is purchased at Walmart. Uh, I think it's an exceptional deal. I think everyone should kind of buy one and test one out. Uh, I've had other people touch on the fact that, you know, they do like lock tests and stuff like that, smacking the spine, doing spine wax. I don't believe that's a super fair test to begin with. With an EDC knife, I don't, I haven't ran into any situations where I've put, you know, excessive force on the spine so much so that it would max out the liner here. And that liner locks up at about 50%. If you guys will take a look at that um, inset into these uh, T6 aluminum handle scales, I believe they are. Um, just a really lightweight knife. About, f well, I consider it lightweight. Most people, you know, would cringe at it. If I told them, you know, that it's 4.0 ounces almost, you know, to the T. I know some of you guys are, you know, more interested in carrying, you know, sub 2 ounce knives. Especially if you're like nut and fancy or something like that. Or you watch a lot of his videos. He touches on having like ultra, ultra lightweight carries. Which I don't mind the weight on this. I think it's just fine. It's pretty perfectly adequate. The only uh, issues I've had thus far with this knife is this pivot coming loose. Uh, I've locked tighted it twice now, you know, it hasn't had any recent problems with it Locks up good no blade play and that pivot hasn't come loose since but uh, I haven't put too much hardcore use on it considering I have so many other knives in my rotation that I'd much rather carry due to this horrendous pocket clip um, As soon as I get around to it, I will be getting an MXG gear uh, loop over a kind of deep carry pocket clip for it and then this will, you know, of course, be restored to its former glory in my pocket as one of my main EDC knives because I do really, really love this knife. Uh, just want to thank you guys again for st stopping into this short review of the Kershaw Blur. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more videos. 
Uh, tons of new content will follow, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, and goodbye.